Hi all, JB here again from InfoHunt with a common problem with the iPhone 12, 12 Pro and 12 Mini and that is the black screen of death where simply your iPhone 12 seems dead. Now, I've got a common fix. 90% of the time it does fix the issue without you taking it to a repairer. So what we need to do is eliminate the obvious things uh, and then get to uh, the possible fix. So obvious stuff is like your charger. Make sure that it just simply hasn't run out of battery and your charger has all of a sudden gone faulty. Happens a lot. So check it with another charger. Check your charger's plug as well and the wall plug. It could have even died as well. So it, that is something that is obvious, but do check it out. Now, the next thing to do is make sure that you haven't, obviously in the last day or so, you haven't dropped it in water or done anything strange where you've, you've actually dropped your phone and you might've had a, a moment where you were like, oh, okay, that could have contributed to it because that could have damaged the screen, which is giving you no visuals. Now, the solution that works a lot of the time and a lot of repairers uh, I guess dumbfounded why this has occurred from the iPhone X series onwards uh, does work a lot where what you need to do is you simply need to get your phone and you'll see here you've got your volume up volume down button and on the other side you've got your power button so simultaneously what we're going to do is press the volume up volume down and then hold down the power button until we see an Apple logo. If you see an Apple logo, that's a good thing. And hopefully that'll fix the, uh, uh, and hopefully that'll fix the problem. So I'll give it a shot now. You go volume up, volume down, and then you just press the power button until you see an Apple logo. And there we go. So if that occurs, let it boot up, check everything's working, plug your charger in, make sure it goes up to full charge, and uh, that should fix a problem. And the good news is it rarely does come back. So uh, if it does continue to come back, the, the next bet would be uh, for you to contact a repairer, or if it's under warranty, make sure you contact Apple, as obviously you don't want to avoid a warranty by taking it to an unauthorized uh, repairer. So hopefully this helps and by all means, please like, please subscribe and any questions, drop a comment below. Thank you.